on the vigil of the feast of saint martin of tours ten november sixteen nineteen at newburgh it has been reported that a world famous individual was at the door of truth and could not get through then he heard a voice calling him to the pursuit of truth he scarce doubted that these dreams came from heaven he vowed a pilgrimage to loretto if the holy virgin would reveal the truth to him four years later he fulfilled that vow his name was rene descartes if truth were to be found in mixing with the world descartes was bent on finding it but as he himself realized he was a stranger in the world into which he had entered a stranger in a mask which concealed his true expression he learned what all men learn in time that there is no sphere of life in which the contradictions of mankind can be got rid of everywhere alike is there error and deception if we accept what is set before us by custom and example we shall certainly go wrong truth must be sought for from the beginning the book of the world but sends us back to ourselves descartes first reflections that winter at newburgh when free from cares and passion he remained the whole day in his well-warmed room gave the color to the remainder of his life the student undistracted by society that interested him devoted his whole attention to his thoughts and his thoughts directed the course of his later speculations what then was the lesson learned the first conclusion the young man came to was this that seldom does a work on which many persons have been employed attain to the same perfection as that which has been carried out by one single directing mind this we see clearly in buildings or in cities which have grown from villages and with nations the case is similar civilization is a growth which has largely come about through the necessity bred of suffering while the direction of some wise legislation or the ordinances of god must be incomparably superior learning has suffered in this way the sciences have gradually been drawn far from what the truth which a sensible man using his natural and unprejudiced judgment would gather from his own experience sources rene descartes his life and meditations by richard laundus published in eighteen seventy eight descartes his life and times by elizabeth sanderson haldane 1862 to 1937 pages 67 and 68 published 1905